What's up wrestling fans, trading card collectors. Welcome to another episode of Wrestling With Cards. I often get asked, how are you getting these big cards? How are you buying these collections? How are you finding stuff within collections that then you can flip and make even more or send for grading? And the next thing you know, you've got a $500 to $1,000 card. Shout out to Tigertown Cards on Twitter, reached out to me and said, hey, I've got a bunch of stuff I'm wanting to sell. Give it to you at a good deal. Here's a price. Here's a few sample pictures. And based on that, I decided to go with it. But then I wanted to make a video to help show you guys kind of what I'm looking for when I'm buying these collections and how I'm mentally processing what, what it's going to be worth from a cost perspective and a time-consuming perspective because a lot of the stuff I buy takes a little bit longer to sell. Eventually it will. We'll get into that. But the main reason I want to do this video is to help everybody that's always saying, I'm priced out, I can't afford it. This is the kind of stuff you want to look at when you need some capital, trying to get more liquid on stuff. Sell this kind of stuff that you maybe don't necessarily want and then buy the stuff that you do want or buy bigger cards, buy more collections. Again, that's what I like to do. A lot of the turnover, I just rebuy more collections for people that reach out to me. But again, I just wanted to do this as kind of a thought process case study for you guys. So maybe it'll help you if you want to start buying collections. All right, so here we go. Most of the time when I'm looking at these collections, I'm looking at kind of this bigger stuff first and seeing how quickly I can either, you know, pull something for myself or make my money back. So he gave me a price and based off of this stuff alone, I knew I could probably make what I spent just off this, if not make a little bit more. Moving further down, just have some random stuff here. I don't know if this is a complete set or not. But we've got the TNA stuff, some random UFC, random, there's some Impel, Chrome. Here is a box of random XFL stuff. You gotta love that. More XFL stuff, some autos, even these like lesser known autos, you know, probably anywhere between three and five dollars a piece on those. Random cool Jose Canseco. Impact stuff, some random baseball. But you get the idea. Usually when I'm looking at these collections, this is kind of First and foremost, what I'm looking at, because I know it will sell the quickest. And then you move on to the smaller stuff. So there's that. And then most of this stuff, this is all base 2021 WWE Heritage, most of it. There's some foils here. This is all Impel. And here, I believe, is some NXT base. And this is Chrome and Flagship base. And there's two Impact sets in there. Most people do not want these base cards. However, you can sell them 99 cents after it's all said and done, anywhere between 30 and 50 cents a piece on these when they're done. They will sell, but they do take a while. So that's pretty much how I view these things when I'm buying collections. You know, take a sample of the bigger cards and then go from there on whatever you think the price is worth based on what you can sell. Again, all of this stuff will sell eventually. But it does take time. So again, shout out Tiger Town Cards on Twitter. Thanks again for hooking me up with a good deal. Guys, if you have stuff for sale, kind of this stuff, collections, base, whatever, I'm always up for looking. May not always be able to make a deal, but I'm always up for at least looking and seeing what you got. But what I would prefer is you not sell these to me and actually do the work on your own. Is it a lot of work? Yes. Is it time consuming? Yes. But it depends on how bad you want it. If you really want those big boy cards, or if you want the complete set of whatever it is you're chasing, autos, whatever it is, put in the work by buying in collections like this, piecing them out, whether that be on Instagram, eBay, Twitter, whatever it is, and then roll that up, buy another collection, just keep it going, or buy the PC card that you've always wanted that you can't afford with your life money. But if this video was helpful to you and it brought you some value, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, share this with a friend, and hopefully more people will get started buying collections, piecing them out, and curating that PC that they've always wanted. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, click the video on the screen for more great wrestling card content. We'll see ya.